What's up, happy campers? I hope that you're doing amazingly. Last time we went camping, we went to Joshua Tree and we had everything except I didn't bring a sleeping bag or a sleeping pad. So what I did is that I brought blankets and I don't recommend bring, bringing blankets instead of a sleeping bag and a sleeping pad unless you are really tough and you're able to sleep over rocks. Uh, my back felt a little bit bruised after the, uh, sleeping there. Not too bad though but it gets really cold at night and I just don't recommend going camping without a sleeping bag. So today I'm gonna be reviewing two things. This is sleeping pad, right here is the REI Air Trail 1.5 uh, and then I bought from Amazon this sleeping bag. Um, I'm gonna be opening it up and testing it right here in the living room just to see how it feels and then I'm gonna do a test uh, bringing it to the tent. So I'm gonna start by opening this. I've never opened it. I don't even know if it comes with instructions or not, but very lightweight. Um, let's see if it has any instructions. Uh, just use and care. Self-inflating sleeping pad to inflate, twist and pull open valves and let outside air flow in. So pretty simple, huh? to lock, pull to open. So you're supposed to let it self-inflate for a little bit. So I'm gonna just start blowing into the pad. I picked up this from Amazon. Um, and I have been getting things delivered to my apartment, but because the access, the intercom is not really working, uh, I, they call me and then if I'm not home, then they take it back and then I keep missing the deliveries from Amazon. But now they have that feature where you can have a, uh, pick them up at a locker. So there is a locker within a half, like half a mile from my house at a 7-Eleven. So it's open 24 hours. You just go, grab your phone, they send you a barcode on your email. And you, when, when you enter the store, you just place your barcode under the scanner and then your locker opens automatically and then you just pick up your bags. So I love that part from Amazon. So now I have the ABC, ABC uh, O Sport or AB Co Sport. Um, I think it was $37, something like that. So I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know how to open this up. I don't really like to read instructions, so sometimes it takes me twice as much time to do it that way because I try to figure it out, and if I can't, then I have to end up reading instructions. But um, we'll see if I have to read anything here. Should be. I'd rather watch tutorial videos than read instructions. This bag is supposed to be waterproof, uh, good for four seasons, so that's perfect. If you go to places like Joshua Tree or Red Rock Canyon, it's really hot during the day, uh, and then it's really cold at night. So sometimes it's even warm at night, so it's good to have the variety for the seasons. It's made of polyester um, and wa waterproof, so let's see how it feels. We 
have been staying for three days at the Red Rock Canyon State Park. It's the first time that I brought the pad and a sleeping bag. During the day, it has been about 100 degrees. At night, it drops down to probably 60, 65 degrees. So not very cold, just cool enough. And it's, it gets very windy. The tent has been shaking a lot and I was able to sleep very comfortably. So I'm just gonna show, show you how I slept last night um, and what I think about this pad. So right here, it's Emily's pad. Um, they actually told her a different size, so it was a little bit too small for her. Her feet were hanging off. Uh, but here is my pad. It's not really fully inflated. I feel like it's half. Um, and then here's the bag. So basically, um, I slept amazing. Uh, it was really comfortable. I didn't feel like, I mean, it's very different than sleeping in a bed. Um, and you don't have a lot of movement, but I didn't feel like I felt like I was falling off to the side because he has these little edges that uh, kind of keep you in place, which I think is a really nice feature. I am six foot two and I was able to fit in there perfectly. The sleeping bag, a, a little bit at the beginning was a little warm, so I just basically kept it open like this. And then when it got late at night, I felt a little bit colder, uh, so I just basically, I didn't zip it up, I just like covered myself with it. I slept on my side as well, I usually sleep on my side. And just with that little pillow, it was very comfortable. So, I think it's a great, great product for sleeping outdoors. Um, it felt really comfortable. Uh, it didn't have a lot of bounce, which I think it's great because I've slept on uh, inflatable mattresses before and there's a lot of bounce. You move around and you feel like you're, you know, if you lift your upper part, your uh, bottom part like goes down and like, you know, you wobble a lot. But in here, I move when I sleep, but I didn't feel like that bothered me at all. So overall, I think this sleeping bag and combined with this pad it's very very nice now what i would suggest if you're gonna stop by rei is to actually you know lay in one of them and see if it's your size because they recommended one for emily according they asked her height and then she told the height um and it's way too short so i definitely recommend trying them out um and then yeah this you can buy this sleeping bag on amazon at a great price it'll arrive very fast on prime uh, I highly recommend those two products, alright homies?